Hello, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Very excited to have Lou on the channel today. Lou is here visiting New Jersey, giving surf lessons to people of all ages. While he's here, he's living part-time in his DIY converted camper van. Today, he's gonna to give us a full tour, so join us. Thank you, Patrick. Happy to be here in New Jersey. I'm a certified master surfing instructor and I'm considered a pioneer in the surf school industry. I'd like to introduce you to my van, which I call Aqua Van. It's a 2008 Dodge 2500. It's actually built by Mercedes Benz, has a diesel engine, and um, I'd like to take you on a tour. I've got a running board I put on because it was a pretty big step to get up inside the van. I've also tinted the windows, as you can see, because it does get hot in Florida and we're allowed to have dark tinted windows. Come on inside. I have a little niche here, and it's all finished in cedar. It's insulated with wool, natural lamb's wool that came from New Zealand. Um, I have a 12 volt auxiliary battery that runs my ceiling fans and my lights, as well as my radio. Um, there's a cooler here that drains out the floor that I put I have to put ice in it but I'm very happy using it that way and then there's storage under these other seats um, here you see I've got a lagoon table an octagon shaped lagoon table that's walnut and these cushions were made by a friend of mine who is in the boat canvas business and she makes seats for boats so she did this um, you can see I've got a full queen size bed and because I don't like bugs, I enclose the back wall, as you can see, with the octagon window, which has a screen on it, and it opens, it cranks out. I've got stereo throughout, and this is another surfboard. I have two surfboards in the van, and in fact, the van was built around the surfboards. If you look here, under this, you can see the front of this nine-foot surfboard that extends all the way underneath the bed to the back, and I've got my wetsuits in there. We built these steps so that we could get up easily into the bed and it's quite comfortable because it's just a queen size mattress from our home. The air conditioner is a Dometic low profile air conditioner which I need a 30 amp hookup to plug in to get it to run. I have recently purchased this cobalt fan which runs on batteries for when it was super hot I could have this over here pushing more air onto me because when it gets super hot, I didn't want to pull in the hot air from outside. So I run the air conditioner from the engine. And then with this fan, it's plenty cool in here when I turn off the air conditioner and hop in bed. Um, this is a, controls the lights. It can dim the lights down or make them very bright. And I've got my books here. And I'm just very comfortable. I built this thing to you know serve my purposes here while I'm camped out um, this is where I keep my laundry inside here and I go to laundromat when I do my laundry this is a remote control that controls my two ceiling fans take this into bed at night usually have one pulling in and one going out so I get great circulation um, if you want to see it turn on In this hatch here, I have my pantry, which, you know, is mostly just like dry goods that I keep in there. I don't cook in the van. Um, when I cook, I barbecue outside when I'm at a camp campsite. Usually I travel with my wife and we have a cat that we don't leave home. We bring him with us. And this is his cat door so he can go underneath there and I keep his kitty litter in the back. He can access it through here. It's in the garage and we never have any cat odors, kitty litter odors or anything like that. Um, there's also an outlet there when I'm plugged into 30 amp service that I can plug in anything that I want to use. And then we have more storage in this box. And I built a couple little cubbies here. You can see I've got shopping bags and paper towels and cutting board, different things that I can store. Um, behind here is the cab area and you can see I have a shelf over the top. This is where I keep most of my clothes. It's just a standard cab. 
the privacy curtains are wonderful at night for blocking out not only at night but even in the day for blocking out the sun um they're insulated they're really good ones and at night of course i put them up and it affords me total privacy i've got my little garbage can here and my little broom i also have a little vacuum that i've used to so I can clean up stuff when it gets a little messy when i'm working down in Maniloking for NewJerseySurfSchool.com Coastline Adventures. I take some gallon jugs and put them on the hot blacktop all day and when I finish I can rinse off with a nice warm water that's powered by the, by the sun. And I've got those jugs in here just now. Just the regular gallon jugs. And these seats are um, kind of trucker seats where they'll bounce up and down they're very comfortable they don't swivel but as you can see they you go over a bump they go up and down it's nice and comfortable now I'm going to take you around back and show you the garage um, the, the, this paint color was created by my wife it started out as a color that was called Tahitian sky and then she lightened it and lightened it until she created this color that we both liked and that's what we painted the van with. Um, when we first got it, it was white and it had quite a bit of rust, but we had all the rust fixed and the paint done on it. Um, this is my garage in the back, and I plan on painting the inside of these doors within a year so that they're the same color blue. Um, this is my, I, I made these blocks to put in here because this window opens up. And I don't want to break the window when it's out if the door should happen to close on it. So these blocks prevent the doors from closing all the way. And it's just simply made with a two by four and a little trim on them. So that'll prevent the window from ever getting smashed. Um, I have a 30 gallon water tank that's in, inside here, inside the garage. I've got all my stuff in here. Um, there's a drawer that pulls out, and there's a nine-foot surfboard in here. I actually built this van around this nine-foot surfboard. This is a softboard that's used for lessons a lot, but I ride it as well sometimes. And it's so easy to take in and out. I can put it right back in there. It slides in on top of the water tank. I've also got fishing poles in here, um, as well as my... Um, barbecue, rug, all camping gear, cooking gear, and then I've got my uh, electric cord for my 30 amp service, as well as three fishing rods, fresh water and salt water, and there's a hot water heater behind here that I can use when I'm plugged into the 30 amp service. Um, this is my shower. If I turn this on, I plug in here and I've got hot and cold water to shower, rinse off with when I get out from surfing. And then I've done some tile. This is where I fill, fill up the water that goes into the tank. Put some glass tile here just for aesthetics. Um, I've got the step on the back, which is nice, and a, a hitch because we tow Hobie kayaks. A couple more things I'd like to show you. Um, first is my 30 amp service hookup. And when I plug in here from Shore Power, I can run my air conditioner my hot, and my hot water heater. I also have an auxiliary 12 volt battery under the hood that runs the lights and the ceiling fans and my stereo, which also has a video. I haven't put in the um, screen yet, but eventually I want to have a screen there for the, so I can run video. And my wife and I can both sit here and have a sandwich or dinner, whatever we want to eat. She usually sits over here and I sit over here. Lou, thank you very much for taking the time today to give us a tour and share your little home on wheels with our viewers. I love the aesthetics in this van. For one, it's nice and bright. It's an open floor plan. It has a permanent bed, which people are gonna like. People sometimes like to have a bed set up all the time. Your dinette is set up all the time too. Yeah. Uh, what you don't have is an indoor shower, but you manage right. with that and indoor toilet. Now you're living in this full time, but you're staying at a, a state park. So they yes. have facilities there you could use. Yes. 
Thanks for mentioning also the surf school you're working for. So any people visiting the Jersey Shore that want surf lessons, it's all ages. Or in Florida, look me up, Lou Maresca, surfschoolcamp.com. Well, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us for the tour. We'll see you soon. Thank you.